Hey, what's up guys? It's Fast Action Jacks. Finally, in front of me, I have a 2018 Harley Davidson Deluxe. Um, this is the first time I'm seeing one. This is the first one we've gotten. This is electric blue is the color, 107 cubic inch motor, the Milwaukee 8 motor you guys are getting so familiar with. And uh, I mean, it's pretty. It, it's I, I really, really like the color. They simplified the motorcycle a little bit. Um, it's got the solo seat on it. Um, not too many changes. Uh, and the, the look and the style of the Deluxe. Um, still, you know, your same basic nostalgia um, Deluxe. We got the Harley Davidson Signature Series lights in the front. Um, this new for 18 kind of light bar in the front with your turn signals on both sides. Also, it's the same in the back. Um, that little turn signal light bar. Um, redesign the tombstone light. Um, it's LED. It looks good. Plates in the same spot. Um, it does have the adjustable preload. You can't adjust your preload. You just have to do it from underneath the seat. It doesn't have it on the side like some of the uh, you know performance models like your Fat Bob, um, your Breakout, and uh, some of the other models. So a little different there. Um, I like it. It looks good. It has a lot of potential. Um, you know, I, I feel like since so many people who who rock the deluxe go with that like solo seat look. Um, so they, they simplified it and um, I haven't ridden this bike yet. I'm about to hop on it and I'll tell you guys uh, what I think about it. And like the other models, they removed the, uh, the little ignition switch in the center, which I like. I mean, I just feel like it was getting kind of redundant in there for a little while. It's just not necessary. So with the new technology. Go ahead and adjust my mirrors a little bit and let's take her out. Seat's comfortable. It's a beautiful day outside too. Um, you know, not, not too often do many people get a, a day that is what, 73 degrees right now in December. Cannot complain about that one bit. Brakes really well. Balanced really well. We got a uh, four piston brake in the front, two piston in the rear. Um, definitely got the power. Very, very comfortable riding position. The riding triangle is nice. I'm nice and upright. My feet are in a good spot. They're forward, but not too far forward. I'm not stretched out. There's not too much bend in my knees. Um, the handlebars are just perfect. My back is nice and relaxed. Um, nice spread. Very nice. I've always been a deluxe fan, always. These bikes are just beautiful. Um, and I think if you're not, then something's wrong with you. I mean, I, I just feel like everybody likes a deluxe. Just classic Harley Davidson. I'm glad they stuck to the roots on this one um, and didn't do too many changes. Uh, some of the specs we got on here is it is, like I'd mentioned, 107 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 motor. They do not offer this bike in a 114. 107 is what you get. Uh, it's got a seat height of 25.9. So nice, good seat height. Not too high, not too low. Um, still that low soft tail seat height. 108 foot pounds of torque which is awesome. Still so excited they even stuck the Milwaukee 8 in the soft tails. I knew it was coming. I didn't think it was coming this soon. No floorboard scrape in the corner. That's awesome. But yep, 108 foot-pounds of torque at 3,000 RPMs. So the power is there. And they, you know, you could always throw a nice set of bags on it if you wanted to, if you like that deluxe look. 
they have some great bag options for 18. They just handle so well. I've always been a big fan of the thin tire in the back and you know just you know just handles fantastic. It's 47 miles to the gallon. I like the instrument panel right here. It's nice. Throw a set of 14 inch Carlinis on here. Get some true duels going. You do like some sants and fishtails, like some 36s. Yeah, baby. Trollo this baby out. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I would have liked to see a uh, like deluxe special, you know, like a blacked out deluxe off the factory line. I feel like that would have been really, really cool. Um, but we're not so fortunate yet. Um, and I've always thought that the deluxe is like probably one of the, you know, even though you've seen in all my videos where I like to show you guys the center of gravity on these motorcycles, I've always felt like the deluxe has just always nailed it. Look at that. No floorboard scrape whatsoever. That's a plus. I can't wait to see some of the, the other colors as well. Um, like I said, this is the first one we've gotten. You know, they wanted to get all the new models out first, and I don't blame them. Um, but I like it. I, I uh, you know, I, I liked the seat before, but this seat feels better. They got more, like, plush to it. Um, it almost kind of feels like a gel seat. Like, my butt is really comfortable. I'm digging it. I like the fact that you got your digital fuel gauge. That's nice. Corners really well. Gets up the highway speeds quickly, efficiently, and very fun. This is a great motorcycle if you want the classic Harley Davidson look. Um, you don't really care about a windshield. You don't get beat up too much. Yeah, I'm doing 60 and I'm not getting blown back at all. I just, I, I'm all, like I said, I'm biased. I like this motorcycle. I always have. I've always wanted to own a Deluxe. It's arguably, next to the Heritage, best riding motorcycle that Harley Davidson makes. A lot of people will even say that they like the way a Heritage rides more than a Street Glide, more than a Road King, more than a Road Glide because one, you got a much lighter motorcycle. Two, soft tails are known to be good riding bikes. And three, I mean, you could tour on this motorcycle if you were just, if you were a minimalist and you didn't need much and you were just going to do like a 12 hour, you know, with a buddy or two, but to get you some little quick detached saddlebags, throw, you know, a set of clothes in there, whatever you need and hit the road. You know, you can add a windshield to these models. You could do whatever you want. Um, you know, I, I do like the fact that they got rid of the pancake emblems. I wasn't a huge fan of that. Um, the new light bar, the new turn signals in the front and the rear, I think you're going to have to grow in me a little bit, but I like them. It's just different. Then I actually think that the, uh, the Milwaukee 8 motor sounds much better off the showroom floor than the twin cam did with factory exhaust. No slip-ons, no no nothing. You get a, I think it has, you know, more of a potato, potato, potato. Because people, people argue that the new bikes 
didn't sound right. Well, they, they do, definitely. And, you know, Harley Davidson has always, always been big on their sound. It's a very important, the sound plays a very important role in a Harley Davidson. And I, I don't think that these, I think these bikes sound great. They truly do. If you, if you get on it, if I were to get on it right now, you know it's a Harley Davidson. And I, the reason why I'm bringing that up is I uh, was driving my wife's vehicle the other day and the, you know, a couple guys on some gold wings and stuff had passed by and uh, some guy in like a shadow and like you cannot hear those motorcycles. So you can hear this motorcycle. It's a Harley. run through the trip you got rpm mode miles trip a trip b range which i think is fantastic i've always been a big fan of that the range and the gear and the rpm mode i, I love you know um still tells you what gear you're in you got your digital fuel gauge all your controls are still in the same basic spot placement of the mirrors is fantastic the bars are comfortable I like it it's comfortable definitely I, I definitely prefer the ride of the deluxe over the slim hands down I like the bars better I like the ride better I like the seat better so I know somebody was gonna ask me that question so <laughs> figured I'd go ahead and throw that out there Right, let's bring this little baby home. Brakes really, really well. Alright guys, I'm going to bring her up here. She belongs on the showroom floor. Like always guys, I want to talk about center of gravity. And she's got it. And Deluxe is arguably one of the best ones. This bike just handles beautifully at low speeds, doesn't fight you. No need to have to worry about sticking the feet down, just beautiful. We're going to bring her right over here in slow speed mode. Look at that. Just such a pleasure. We're gonna park her right in front of the chair. Back her up, let people check her out. Anyway guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you as always, you guys are the best. I couldn't do this without you guys. Thanks for watching. Please, if you have the time, stop by, check out this beautiful motorcycle, take her out for a demo ride. You'll love it, I promise you. We'll look at it one more time. Look at that color. Isn't that a good looking bike? I dig it. Fishtails, apes. The new tombstone is fantastic. I love it. I absolutely love it. So if you're a deluxe fan like me, I think you'll like it. Anyway guys, once again, thanks for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.